Bill Burr and company are badasses. Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little anchor of the internet today. By now, just about everyone has seen either all or part of this. Bill Burr. Mm. <laughs> okay, thank you, Janae. How are you? Was I the only one who wanted to kill himself during that piano solo? Um, <laughs> I bought a suit for this. I thought I was going to be on TV. I'm such a moron. I am losing so much money right now. All right, shout out to all the rock stars that I wanted to meet tonight who are watching at home instead. I'm talking to you, Don Dawkin. All right. What, I'm old. That was my first concert. All right, and the Grammy goes to Fido Pius. I can't say this name. Natalie, Natalie, what? All right. Uh, <laughs> and the winner, uh, the Grammy goes to Natalia Lafourcade. <laughs> oh, wait. Dude, you, oh, I will, oh, sorry. I will accept on behalf of her. If I butchered her name, I'm sorry. Natalie, you won. All right. Hey, how many uh, feminists are like going nuts? So how, why is this cis white male doing all this Latino stuff? Uh, and the Grammy goes to Grupo Niche. Hey, Niche. And the Grammy goes to Gustavo Dudamel, conducting the Los Angeles Philharmonic. I will be accepting the Grammy on behalf of Gustavo Dudamel, congratulations. Crush that one. All right, and the Grammy goes to Frederick Ballantyne, uh, Angel Blue, Densi Graves, Latino Moore, Eric Owens. Seven, nine. And the Grammy goes to Joanne Folletta, James K. Bass, and Adam Lubicki. I will accept the, this Grammy on their behalf. Hey, how you doing? All right. And the Grammy goes to Contemporary Voices Pacific Quartet. And the Grammy goes to Richard O'Neill and David Allen Miller. <clears throat> and the Grammy goes to Sarah Braley, Dashen Burton, and Jane Blatchy. Blatchley. And the Grammy goes to Isabel Leonard, Michael Tilson Thomas, and Jack Vad. And the Grammy goes to Christopher Rouse. And the Grammy goes to Jojo Rabbit. Sorry, I wasn't listening to that one. I'm going to butcher this. And the Grammy goes to Hilder Gunadutar for Joker. And the Grammy goes to No Time to Die. I had absolutely no idea about the first comment because I didn't watch the Grammys. Frankly, I don't remember ever watching the Grammys. When I was younger, I always thought that it was a show just for Grammys because mine always put me to bed at 7 p.m. before it started. After that, cable came out and there was always much better stuff to watch. But uh, don't get me distracted. But Bill's comment on the woke bunch, as I'll put it, was priceless. All right, hey, how many uh, feminists are like going nuts? So how, why is this cis white male doing all this Latino stuff? But I actually found myself asking that same question. Uh, not because he's a cis white male, but because it seemed to be way out of his character. I mean, come on. Look at his shows, look at his podcast, look at his appearances. He even admits to himself that he always plays himself. Is it hard playing yourself as an actor? No. That's what I've been doing my entire limited acting career. To me, it was almost as if they wanted him to fail or they set him up to fail so that their folks could ridicule him. He is pretty mainstream, but I'm sure the powers that be don't like that he's not beholden to their woke standards. If you ask me, these folks are asleep. Too bad it's at the wheel of our culture. With what I hear and read about these refined folks, 
They had to know, if they know anything about him at all, that he wasn't going to be able to pronounce a lot of those names. I know I couldn't have, but I would have also tried to ask first, how is this pronounced? He will also admit that he, as a male, doesn't even think that way. But I bet his wife does. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I've noticed, we're, we're always working on me. You know? <laughs> Like, my wife is evidently some completed work, like, under museum glass. And I'm like that <laughs> building that has scaffolding around it for, like, seven years. <laughs> no, she is, she's a saint for putting up with me. I'm pretty sure that they also knew that he wouldn't even know who some of those folks even were. I mean, he was looking forward to meeting Dokken and all the rock and roll stars. Not that I knew them either, but... Don't get me distracted. From what you're hearing everywhere else now, you wouldn't even think that there was such prizes for such categories anymore. I mean, the bee lady pretty much took the show, and all the news outlets, and all the indie newsies, and all the gossip columns. Heck, this particular situation might even end up in the courts. Go Candio! And no, I'm not showing you anything from her musical, if you will. Remember my motto. Everybody gets one. So as far as the number one rule in show business goes and entertainment, mission accomplished. By both parties, in fact. I'm by no means forgetting that Candio has a new show coming up as well, and it won't be free from what I can tell. But we are talking about Bill Burr here, so don't get me distracted. The Bill Burr portion of the show actually seemed like some kind of a side note by the same outlets that I just mentioned earlier, and only because the so-called Twitter outrage crowd brought it to everyone's attention. In fact, it got so bad that blue checks were literally calling him an ist despite his being married and having kids with this lovely person. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Beautiful lady, you. Who's that lady? Now, this tweet about it, or about their relationship, if you will, literally says, I'm not saying this is you, but I am. Where Nia promptly replies, Which is right on. I've been saying this kind of thing needs to be said to these sensitive know-it-alls who literally have no clue. Since the beginning of this cancel culture started, not to mention sticking their noses in someone else's marriage and any other type of personal business. You learn real quickly that no matter how a marriage looks from the outside, you don't know shit. And if you do interfere, it won't be them that gets hurt over it. The outsider always gets the blame, usually loses friendships and family. At least that's what I've experienced all my life. The funny part is, usually, right after all the pain you go through for putting your nose where it didn't belong, the couple usually separates or divorces right after that. But still, even that is none of your beeswax. And then what are you gonna do after that? Persecute his kids as being half ists because of their white half? And again, I will ask, who the hell died and left people like this in charge of these absolutely absurd explanations? I also wanna know how they think they know this nonsense that they profess. I mean, you can't know this kind of thing unless you think this way. So who's the ist here? I think you are. For the fact that skin color was the only thing that mattered to you. And the first thing that you noticed about anyone in this whole family. And what they were up to. Not to mention literally calling a black woman a sex slave. As if she had absolutely no say-so in her relationship with Bill. We do live in America. I'd like people to start remembering that. 
What do you think? We still live in the 17 and 1800s where people sold wives for cows and stuff? Or had prearranged marriages? Come on! I think some of these folks need a friggin' time machine so they can catch up with the rest of us. I'm happy Nia put you in your place. You rape. White male you. Don't believe me? Go to his website. There is some shameless self-advertisement there, Mr. White Guy. I put his website in the description below. Of course, that is just my opinion. Yours may be different. You will also find that he is a failed politician. Hence the blue check, I guess. Someone was even nice enough to go back through his many idiotic tweets, including retweeting AOC a whole bunch, another mental midget, but don't get me distracted, and found this gem of a tweet from this guy. <laughs> And from just scrolling through his tweets, I can tell that this gentleman, I use the term loosely, has a pretty new child, not even a year yet, it doesn't look like. So you can do with that whatever you want. Also, this is another reason I wanted to do this video on this. Not only are the Burrs, the Burr slash Hills, a badass couple, but it's like Tom McDonald said. Your thoughts and opinions and facts and they are not defining my reality. And I would venture to say that Nia Hill agrees. Anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to Bill Burr and his beautiful family. As usual, I'm not a total fangirl where I know absolutely everything about this man. In fact, before all of this hubbub, I didn't even know the guy was married and had children, much less what their color was. Which, why would anyone care that much who people marry? That's their business. Yeah, but my advice has always been to keep telling these woke know-it-alls to fuck off. They eventually will. You can even be more polite about it, but again, you do you. <laughs> I do hope that you enjoyed my short but sweet video today. Please help me keep doing this by clicking the like button, commenting, subscribing, and what would get the most attention is please share, share, share. A donation would be the ultimate, and I'm still shipping out unique gifts for donations. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time!